Well, there's really no fighting it. The top decks are the top decks, and if you're playing anything else, well, I hope you enjoy losing. But what if I told you that even within this bubble we call the meta, there are multiple tiers that break down just how powerful these decks are. In Master Duel, for example, you've got the clear tier one Snake Eye. Then in tier two, you'll start seeing things like Rescue Ace. Then you get to tier three, and honestly, that's when most people stop caring. But not in this video, because today we are going to be taking a tier three deck into ranked and trying to get into diamond, and I do not plan on losing. In fact, I plan on torturing the online world of Yu-Gi-Oh with this unstoppable deck. That being none other than Unchained. And it's actually going to be a little difficult because I'm not really known for playing meta Yu-Gi-Oh. First duel of the day, we're going second, which obviously is not what we like, but we did get Maxi, so best move in the game. Just just shotgun Maxi in the draw phase. Why not? Oh, and it goes off. GG's. GG. We just win. We win, bros. It's over. There's no way this is his whole play. <laughs> Is this a bot? Hold on. Do you just want me to hit diamond rank? Are you just this much of a friend? Not even going to lie. If this doesn't go through, we kind of are struggling here a little bit. Because we have a Ruha in the hand, we just want to add a trap. And this is all we need to get an unchained combo going. Now, this isn't the unchained combo in any stretch of the word, but it is one of them. So we pop a trap card with a Ruha. The trap card is going to go ahead and bring forth. Honestly, I'm not even sure. Oh, the trap card lets us get Sharvara. And once we have Sharvara, honestly, this is the only important thing to, to remember. You gotta get this red dog in the graveyard as soon as possible. Get in there at any means possible. So now that we can link up, we go into Lord of Yama. So you want to say this is a tier 3 deck, bro. This tier 3? I don't believe it. Not when I'm piloting the deck, it's not. Charvara effect goes off. You want to grab the trap card that you did not already use on the field. So we're just going to go ahead and get Chamber. Yama lets us get a card to our hand. We already used a Ruha, though. So I'm not even going to lie. I forget what the next step is. <sighs> We even normal summoned, right? So what's like the big deal, you know? Because we have it normal summoned, we're getting Rakea. I'm not even sure if this is accurate. Honestly, I don't do this route that often. But with that trap card gone, it doesn't matter how you get it gone. You're going to bring out Sarama. Sarama hits the board. It's cooking time. We're doing all this on a bot, by the way. I, I have no, uh, I have no shame. Let me get my trap card back. And then you just pop the other guy. Once the other guys pop, their effect will go off. You see, this is what I'm saying. Doesn't really matter. They're all kind of the same guy. Boom. Blue dog. Once we got blue dog, we just link up. We just link. This is, you know what? This is kind of a nice walk through Yu-Gi-Oh! Memory Lane. You know, it's been a while since a Yu-Gi-Oh! video on my channel. I got, I got to warm up, make sure I'm not misplaying. Once Blue Dog's in the graveyard, Blue Dog can comment. Blue Dog gets Sarama. Boom, we're back. Sarama in the graveyard activates. And what does he do? Well, Sarama's just going to seek out the Red Dog comes back from deck. And now you would just make High King Caesar, the greatest card in the deck. And bro has nothing to do with Unchained. This guy can stop two things that mention special summoning. Twice, not even once per turn he's just that good sadly that is our entire turn though because i usually you do this going first i probably shouldn't have done this route going second against the one board thing i'm gonna be honest if i run into like penguin knight i'm gonna lose my goddamn mind <laughs> but i mean come on we're not gonna run into penguin soldier what is this tangy spirit okay so this is definitely just a bot right like bro is just ranking down whoa bro I genuinely thought you were a bot, bro. Like, why did he do that to me? I'm genuinely... I, I genuinely thought I was going up against a bot. I... What? Do bots run evenly matched? Do bots try to win if you don't kill them immediately? Damn, that kind of hurt. I, I got my trap card and my blue guy banished. Sword Soul. All right, so here's our first special summon negate. Like I said, we get to do this twice. And because they're going to the graveyard, you still get the unchained graveyard effects too. So not only do we get a negate and a pop, and we can do that again, but I also get a nice little trap card set. So I'm really not even pressed. I'm really not even pressed. Let's get Escape of the Unchained back out here. Even if you're not a bot. Which, uh, I, I don't know. You could just be a bot that really wants to win. What is this? Oh, is this a bait? Why would... I don't think I'm going to negate this. I'm not going to negate that. That feels like bait, bro. Like, uh, you're getting your guy back that you can special summon stuff with. I'll just pop him instead. If, if you really want to test me, I was going to say, I'll just pop the next one. All right, bro. Enough fun and games, man. Enough fun and games. Well, actually, we might have... I might not be able to kill him right now, right now, to be honest. But, I mean, I could, you know, I could... You know what? What? Why are we not just running Fiendish Rhino Warrior Beatdown? Bro, I'm not gonna... Okay, all, all right, all right. I won't beat you this turn. Actually, <laughs> but but you just got me acting unwise now, bro. Let me get another... In Let me get an Imperm. Oh, you had a monster. I should have just... I am so dumb. I, I forgot it because he has a monster on the field. I could have just added that to my hand. We could have got a pot of greed. We could have ripped that card out of his hand. 
It doesn't matter. I, I feel like we're still in a good scenario here. Let's just Fiendish Warrior beat down. I, I can't believe we're still in this duel. It, it, the, the people you have to go through to get the diamond is crazy. This is like a, an actual tournament, bro. Like, bro, bro is going crazy. All right. Well, maybe not too crazy. We'll take a free game, though. We'll take a free game. Was it really that free? You know, he, he had some scary stuff. Another duel going second. They are really trying to test my tier three deck, bro. Pl please, you got to let me cook going first. We do have one imperm, though. We're kind of missing some other hand traps. That would be amazing. Uh-oh. Oh, don't do this. Don't be playing Labyrinth against me, bro. Please. Uh, what is that? What? I do run Harpy's Feather Duster in this deck. And if there is a Yu-Gi-Oh God, you will be struck down by him right now. Draw! Oh, it even glowed. I thought, oh, the glow really made me think it was going to be Harpies. Bro, okay, now I see why it glowed. But no, you don't get to set four traps and then tell me I don't get to play. Maxi, be gone. Oh, now you're just hating. I mean, this doesn't really negate it, but I mean, you're just kind of cutting in line. Okay, we got ourselves a Labyrinth player, boys. How are we going to get around this? We, we can figure it out. We, we got options. We got options. Cross out designator. Designate that he can go pick rocks. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, he's going to special summon a card. It doesn't really do that much. On its own, I mean, this is just kind of a wall, right? We know how to break a couple walls in this deck. Um, You know what I will do, though? Let's go ahead and bait out any... Well, it's not like he has any Ash Blossoms. Any Negates, though? You got anything? I probably should have played it in... Okay, that's good. All right, let's get Escape of the Unchained here, fellas. Yep, that's good stuff. All right, we're going to work with this for now. So you could do the Aruha, but because I'm actually afraid and don't know that route very well, I'm just going to do the Shavara. <laughs> I'm playing within my limitation. Huh? What are you running? Wait, what? What are you? Wait, what are you? What are you? Wait, what? What? You wait, you you run? A, wait, no, you do not run a Shavara in your deck. There's I'm going to be sick. Oh, uh, what? What is this forbidden technique? This is disgusting. Sadly, I also have a Ruha. <laughs> <laughs> boy, look at you, boy. You don't, you never played a match of Duel Monsters in your life, huh? What what kind of forbidden technique is that? You just include 60 cards in your deck so that you could specifically make me sad with my tier three deck? Bro, I, I don't even know where Labyrinth is nowadays, though. Come forth, Aruha. Okay, can I read what, um, because this actually might be a little cooked either way. Cross out designator. Activated effects and effect. Wait, ah, oh, as well as activated effects and effects on the field of cards with the same. Does that include like if I play another copy and it affects in the graveyard? I just want to know how screwed I'm about to be, man. Dude, are you really gonna like actually ruin my day? I think we just shouldn't give it to him, right? Like even if. <sighs> All right, let's play smart. Play smart, play smart, play smart, play smart, play smart. And let's just assume it's always negated for the entire turn. You're not gonna cook me like this. I'll set Abomination's Prison, and then using Rakea's effect, we'll pop Abomination's Prison. Have we normal summon this turn? I don't think we have. So we can build up a scary-ish board here. Ah, unreal. He has all of the answers. This isn't good. This isn't good. He's gonna set another card. Oh God! Full force virus. Tribute one dark monster. Look at your opponent's hand. And all card. Oh, why did I set it? That Wait, that literally doesn't matter because I'm gonna pop it anyway. So that that doesn't matter. Okay, hold on. Well, I was gonna pop it. I don't know why I played it in. The I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'm not sure why I'm getting so pressed. Lord of Yama. After linking them away, not only can I add one card from my deck to my hand, and we do have our normal summon. I did confirm that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Sarama. Sarama is a good normal summon in the heat of. Battle. Do we not get either of our graveyard effects? That's not how either of them work, huh? Yep, yep, yep. I can, uh, yeah, I can. Oh, let's go! I just bored him to death. Yeah, yeah, get bored to death, kid. I don't even care. Yeah, I'm taking my sweet time. I'm gonna read every card. Oh, I'm gonna read every card. Yeah, oh, I love knowledge. I love not. I can't believe he just surrendered. He probably cooked me. I, I ain't even gonna lie. The cross out designator on my. That was just like he DDoSed me. Losing your loser rank. Give me first. Give me first. I, I cannot get a coin flip. I can't get a coin flip to save my life. I'm going to have to bore this guy to death too. Oh, thanks. Well, actually, whenever decks make me go first, that's when it's really scary. Just give me an a give me cross out designator and some gas. Ooh, this isn't necessarily some gas, but oh, you know what? This actually gives you this gives me another method to show you another combo. So let me show you a little something, something. Let me show you a little something, something. The reason why we run dark contract in this deck is specifically to do this combo. It's another starter. It allows us to add one DD monster from our deck to hand. Now we're going to specifically choose this pendulum guy, Vice King Requiem. Requiem 
one goes to the pendulum scale. And then what do you know? He just, he's kind of a, he's kind of a little delinquent. He doesn't want to stay in the pendulum zone. He wants out. So he destroys the spell card, moves up in the world. Now he's just a monster. Forget being a spell card. His effect doesn't matter. Ignore that. But then we can just overlay him for free 3k beat sticks all day. So not only is that a 3k beat stick, but it also gives us the privilege of popping one of our own cards. We're playing Unchained. Of course, we like that. Requiem's effect activates from underneath him. Boom. Escape of the Unchained is popped. We have to shuffle this back into our deck. And now we can bring out a Charvara with the trap card effect, and we all live happily ever after. He's starting to see where this combo is going. So we're just going to run it back. We're going to run it back. The reason we practiced that combo, I told you, you want Charvara on the, on the field, is because we just run that right back. Those go to the graveyard. We don't need a Lord of Yama. I think you guys are getting it chain blocked just in case, even though like Effect Veiler still pops us. Imperm still pops us. You know, but you know, chain block just in case. It's proper etiquette. Get the trap card you did not use earlier, just like so. Bring it around town. Add a, well, normally you'd add a Ruha to hand, but because we already have that, I'm just going to get Unchained Soul for free. Just so we can keep Unchained Soul in our hand. It's, it's nice to have around. It comes in handy. But we pop Chamber, so it didn't matter. Normally, again, grab a Ruha for this next step. A Ruha comes out. Boom. Trap card activates. Bam. Sarama on board. Sarama, really important step of the process because we get our good trap card right back. We're just going to keep these separate. Again, we just want to make sure we're, we're just playing around any rows and columns. Aruha, I'm sorry. Thank you for your service. All right, Aruha, come on. Come on. You can come back out. Okay, Blue Dog. Blue Dog takes center stage. Go ahead and special summon your Blue Dog with Blue Dog. And Unchained Soul of Rage hits the board again. But Blue Dog's not done yet. We got to do a, one more pop. We still got to get High King Caesar. Again, our board is not complete until we have five negates. Boom. Nice. Sarama effect in graveyard. You telling me this is tier three? Yu-Gi-Oh might be a little too crazy, bro. If this is tier three, Master Duel might be in a crazy state. All right, we've got our two level sixes. It's time to make the donuts. Ah, wave high King Caesar. And you know, why not drop an imperm just to keep things a little, you know, fresh. All right, so that's our board. We've got an additional imperm and we've got maxi. So you already, you already know what we're about to do. You already know we're toxic. We're tier three. We gotta be toxic. Oh, did you just draw a card? Load up the shotgun. Now, does he negate that? If he does, that's fine. Oh, no. He didn't have the negate for it. So now, even if he gets through in special summons, we're still in a great place. The re Uh-oh. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> Y'all be cooking me today, man. That's fine. We're going to play around this, too. We're going to destroy our own monster. And it doesn't really matter if we destroy Imperm. But I guess we might as well, you know? At least by destroying our own monster, we'll get to keep his effects and he won't get banished. And now we just banished the trap card. A little bit unfortunate because we won't get the... Uh, well, actually, no, it wouldn't have worked. Unchained Soul of Rage allows us to add one to our hand. We usually take Sharvara with this. And then Yama? What does Yama do? Can you guess? <laughs> we get to bring that blue dog right back. Yeah, you evenly matched players were ready for me. Tier 3 deck, we're playing around evenly matched like this. Come on now. Come on now. I probably should have uh, moved him over just in case, but whatever. Now we've got two special summon negates. If he summons a special summon monster, we can link into one with this guy. I mean, come on. Unchained is so crazy. How is this tier three? I'm not even... I, when I say that, by the way, I'm not even saying like, oh, it's not tier three. You guys don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm saying like, bro, how is Yu-Gi-Oh at a point where this is tier three? <laughs> that is nuts. Hey, bro. Well, how many... Come on, brother. What is going on? What? What do you mean? How many times am I going to get evenly matched? I'm losing it. I, I can feel my rage slipping. No, no. Got to calm down. I still have Wave High King Caesar. He'll protect me. I just have to trust him. Oh, let's go. Jarvar is really barking for no reason. All right. Well, we can't stop him from adding a spell to his hand. I'm a little bit perturbed let's say perturbed at the use of two evenly matches i i feel like my my field was still really good i did all that talking up but i'm feeling particularly tier three now at the end of the main phase end phase god wave hiking caesar is so good 2800 is like such a good attack oh you're making me blush you're making me blush here brother we drew a card that we could actually use holy rakea in attack mode we're just gonna insta pop rakea with sharvara insta pop we're not using rakea's effect thank you though rakea gonna go ahead and get Sharvara. Bar, Rakea will activate. Now, I really wish we had... Okay, I mean, he can... Do I just want to pop this? I think we should probably save this. It's not like our combo's over. 
not really worried about him banishing any cards from my extra deck. If I was him, I'm sniping that second Wave High King Caesar. That's probably the not great option, but if he has a way to get over this Wave High King Caesar and I make another one, he's going to really feel it. I The reason I'm not making Unchained Soul is I really would not like to get rid of Called by the Grave. But if it's a matter of game or not game, obviously we're going to do it, right? A Ruha comes on board. What did he banish? He banished my other Unchained Soul of Rage. That's fine. Honestly, I'm trying to kill him right now. So, like, I'm trying to go, bro. Like, this ain't no game, but you're fighting for your life right now. I'm trying to kill you this turn. You got to think about that, bro. That I, I ain't even trying to play any more cards, okay? After this turn, it's on sight. And if I get a whiff that you're not afraid of Called by the Grave, I mean, it's a... Oh, have I used any cards this turn? Actually, we can just check. No yellow marks. Okay, let's good. Looks good. Set a escape. Set escape. Yama, where we at? Add card to my hand. Have we used the Ruha effect? Okay, yeah, we did use a Ruha effect. Okay, so let's not do that. Uh, let's just get Sarama. We have a normal summon this turn, correct? No, no, we normal summoned main phase one. We played Rakea. Okay, so we did normal summon. We have not used a Ruha? Okay, I might have made a mistake. I'm unsure. No, no, we didn't. Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're going to be okay. Aruha doesn't have their effect, but that's probably okay. Escape of the Unchained is what I'm looking for. Let's get a little crazy here. Let's get a little crazy. I'm going to link with you and then Aruha. Let's get you in the picture here. How about that? So now we're summoning the special Red Dog, aka Soul of Anguish. Let's show you why we're anguishing today. Why are we anguishing today? Because we're link summoning with their monster, bro. And we're going into the Royal Finish Unchained above. Abomination. How much? Ah, oh, 7,800. Are, are we kidding? Is there no way I can squeak out a little damage, bro? I'm actually going to be so pissed at myself. Ah, oh, I probably had the damage before this. What's crazy is this didn't have to happen this way. All right, well, we did the crime. Now we got to do the time. I am so pissed that we can't just win the duel right now. Oh my god, why? Why was that I mathing while playing? I should have special summoned Abominable Unchained Soul, man. That would have been more than enough damage. Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, I am so pissed at myself for not summoning this. Okay, so for the future, if you think you have game, please summon this. Please don't let yourself down like I did. Now we gotta we gotta survive a whole nother turn. Don't let yourself down like me. I'm in a bad spot now. We've only got called by and wave high king caesar to defend our honor but honestly not a bad couple if i had to have a couple of cards defending my honor it'd probably be them okay so that's very disappointing tell you what we're just gonna banish <laughs> we're just gonna banish the unicorn harpies was a snipe i was not expecting a little toxic but hey bro dusting nothing spring cleaning was not needed for my back row no not yet oh we need a card in my hand for unchained soul to even matter what was i thinking battle phase <gasps> He's going for wave high king Caesar. <sighs> oh, please tell me this special summons in some way. Hey, leave my deck alone, bro. Leave it alone, brother. You don't have to do this. Who'd you ban? It? No, wave high king Caesar. Okay, well, in his death, we do get a couple effects here to really help out. We do get Charvara's effect, so we can set something to the uh, to the ground here. Okay, so both of our blue dogs are banished, so I don't even think we should use this effect right now. No, we don't have any cards in the hand for you, Unchained Soul. We'll get to you in a minute. Okay, set another trap card. We're not out of the game just yet. This is why Unchained is so good. We Oh, wait, we do add this to our hand, though. All right, Abominable Unchained Soul is online. We have a pop. We have a defensive pop. Main phase two? Don't do it. There's no way you run three. Oh. Okay, Unicorn, but his effects are negated. Let's go! Yeah, I banished you, brother. I banished you. Oh, don't do this. Oh, I wish I could negate it so bad. You have no idea how bad I wish I could negate that right now. What are you going to make? We just need something to either A, get destroyed, or just let Unchained Abomination pop this, and then we can pop off with this. Oh, come on, dude. Let Abominable hit the field. Let me drop this gate. Come on, what do we got? Come on, that's fine. That's fine. I also wouldn't mind getting rid of some of his back row, though. This is a bit of a pickle. I kind of... If we get rid of our thing... Torrential. Okay, I'm glad I got rid of Torrential Tribute, man. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's good enough for me. I thought it was a little risky. I definitely thought it was a little risky. We're gonna try to... Oh, what's this? Special Summon one cast here? Okay, well, hold on. Because that's not happening, bro. Escape of the Unchained. We're breaking out! Not only do we pop both of those, that doesn't work. And then we get... Okay, now it's, it's pop-off time, baby. It's pop-off time! Yama! Charvara, set the other trap card. It's it's over. It's all over. Not only do you have 200 life points, but your field is my field. Oh, yeah. I'll destroy one card. Yeah, let me get rid of this spell, bro. Let me get rid of this spell, bro. Because I don't even... Uh, you know what? Yes. 
<laughs> you know what? Simply, yes. I don't think I'll be using his effect because I kind of want to link with you. Charvara, we set the last trap in the deck we have. We kind of went through our resources here. Yama's going to bring back Soul of Anguish. Why not? Hmm. So you're trying to get a little crazy with me, bro. You're trying to get a little crazy. How about a little Axis code talker on your head? How about that for crazy? Oh, we anguishing now. We anguishing now. That's fine. Hey, bro. You mind if I you mind if I grab that, bro? You mind if I <laughs> you mind if I just take that, bro? You do you mind? I gotta know if you mind. I gotta respect you, but hold on. Do you mind if I just you mind if I just Let's move that pesky little guy out the way. Let me just, yeah, just sit right there and watch. <laughs> oh, you gotta love tier three Yu-Gi-Oh. You gotta love it. Ugh. I'll take it. Are we in diamond? Hold on. Was that the fourth duel? I don't know. These have been some long... Well, again, I'm playing solitaire for 50% of it. One more win to diamond on a nine win streak. Unchained is looking crazy. Uh-oh. Dinosaur player alert. And we get to go first. Please don't let this be the one we lose. Not a very fun deck for people to play against, but extremely, extremely enjoyable to play against modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Unchained just, it feels like you're never out of the game. You always have some options. Please don't hurt me. Our opponent has options. They've also got that, that dangerous looking icon, bro. I've seen, I've seen danger come before. All right, we're gonna be taking the Aruha trap line here. All right, the Aruha trap line, the one I've practiced the least. I, uh, I'm pretty nervous about this. What do we have, 60 card deck? Okay, good, I'm not gonna, <gasps> Max C, thankfully, that card would shut us down, but let's go, <laughs> let's go ahead and hit him with a little Ash Blossom. You got anything to beat that? You got a call by? <laughs> the one hope at stopping me, and it's all gone. Escape of the Unchained, Charvara, hit the deck. Boom, into Lord Yama. Lord Yama comes out, Yama one, Yama two, oh, that's Charvara two, but whatever. Talk to me, Rakea. Talk to me. Talk to me. Sarama, do your thing. Give me that escape. I need that escape. Rakea gets popped. Rakea getting popped gets me Blue Dog. Blue Dog into Blue Dog. Now, the best part of that about negating Maxi is the fact that they are only going to have five cards to try to counterplay with, which is always a good thing. Wait a second. No, no, no. This is right. This is right. Hold on. Oh, have me stressing, bro. Have me stressing. Oh, my God. I was looking at my screen inquisitively. Part one. The only thing that would have been better for our hand going first, obviously, but we can't really ask for much more is if these two were hand trapped. Maxi Ash? Yikes, dude. That's a hard, that's a hard field to beat. Maxi Ash, and we are just living our best life. Hi, King Caesar! Hey! I actually don't know if I set Unchained pri uh, Abomination Prison here. Probably, right? Because we want to win on this turn, so why not set it? The only way that kills me is if, like, I probably shouldn't have, because we've been getting evenly matched all day. Oh, that's fine. Nibiru? We just negate. We just negate Nibiru. Yeah, we'll just do Red Dog. Why not? Uh, okay, so now he's going to have four cards to play around with, which is uh, pretty good. Honestly, four cards is pretty fine for us. We still have one special summon negate, which is a lot more than you could ask for. Nibiru is just so, like, that's pretty tough. Whenever your Nibiru gets negated, it's like, damn, that sucks. Or the him. I mean, I, I, I can only sympathize so much. I mean... I be getting hit by stuff like this all the time, man. This is my villain arc. Our opponent thinks about their move. I can't blame them for thinking. They have to play around both the trap card, the soul of rage. If there's a way they can stop me, that might be the weakest link. And one wave high King Caesar negate. I've also set a secret trap card that they do have to think about. What if this is an imperm? It's not, but what if it is? Are they worried about that? What if the one card in my hand is Ash Blossom? They really don't know. Ah, oh, they just kaijued me. <laughs> I mean, true, dude. I mean, true. I can't really stop that. Wave hiking Caesar, though. I really shouldn't have done the red dog. Why did I ditch the red dog last turn? Am I dumb? That was the dumbest decision I've ever made. I already popped its effect once. I should have popped. Blue dog is kind of useless. Oh, why did I not pop blue? Oh, Mikanko, dude. Don't do this. Hell, what does that even do? I don't know if that was a bait, but I'm not falling for it. This is going to get me Sharvara back to my hand, and then Yama's going to bring back the blue dog for me. This is how we play around stuff. Now he's got two cards to beat me with. Can Mikanko do it? I actually don't know. Oh, I gotta stop putting it in the anima card. Destroy a card? No, because we want we want to have that just in case. So what we're gonna do is Sharvara this card and then bring out Abominable. And then Abominable is another pop on top of that, which is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if two cards can beat even this board though. Two cards is too, too little. Oh my God. This could be crazy bait, but I gotta fall for it now. Destroy that. Get Charvar out here. 
Prison activates in the grave. Get Unchained Soul. Unchained Soul hits the field. Unchained Soul, we ditch Dark Contract. We pop card. Now you've got one card to beat four. One card to beat four. What was the plan? Does that do anything? I don't know. Please just attack and die. I don't know how Mikanko works. Yes. Woohoo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's how you play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the year 2024 with a tier three deck. I told you I was going to Diamond. I didn't know I'd do it winless. How much damage? Oh, 10,100? Yeah, I'm thinking that'll work. Boom! Boom! I'm not the kind to faff about, okay? I'm not gonna sit here and combo meaninglessly while my opponent's just there. Great games to everybody I dueled, but let's go ahead and see that rank up. Should I just go until I lose? Should this video end when I lose? Oh, uh, you know I'm feeling myself now. Diamond 5! Diamond 5, a tier 3 deck! <laughs> what y'all know about a tier three deck oh let me just do it again why not let me just do it again why not oh we're going first again i love to see it when will we lose is there is there anybody that can stop us now master duel needs a hero it needs somebody to stop me. oh my god this hand could very easily go south don't negate this prison please i'm begging oh it looks like it's gonna go off smooth oh oh i thought sorry i got scared Charvara route because I'm scared of the other one. Don't ask me why. Charvara effect. Get rid of this crap card. Crap card. Go ahead and search me, Rakea. Boom. Okay, then Yama comes out. Let me go ahead and do a little... We do a bit of chain blocking. Let me grab my glossy Aruha. Did I normal summon for this? I did not, right? I definitely did not normal summon. Okay, because we didn't normal summon... Oh, but that kind of sucks. I'm just going to play another Aruha. I don't know. I, I don't know what, what the best normal summon there to grab was. But because I couldn't summon from hand, this is the best thing I could have thought to do. So we're just going to do this. We're going to pop my glossy Aruha in attack mode. Okay, I was I was getting worried that the effect wasn't going to go off. That Once I get thrown off my mojo is when I start just doubting everything, bro. Like, now I'm just doubting everything. Please don't nib me. You haven't shown any signs of Nibiru, but also, that's what happened to the last guy. I, once he sees two six stars, he's definitely going to turn it on, though. If he's got his toggle off, he's definitely waiting to turn it on i just gotta hurry i gotta hurry while he's giving me time to play oh god i'm nervous i'm ner oh god is he uh, uh, hi, hi, hi. it's too late now you can't go back on your word you let me play too long okay good now what else could i have summoned there's probably a way more optimal play i could have busted out there but um he actually has nibiru and waited too long there's no way he was we waited too long oh wait it's just my internet my internet it was it wasn't he, him it was me no this can't be how i go out my my wind streak can't be destroyed by my own internet. This is like Icarus. I flew too close to the Yu-Gi-Oh sun. All right, Ash Blossom, if this was a max C, we'd be in a very strong position. Oh, don't do this. Nobody said you have to do that. Okay, we remember what we practiced. Protect Soul of Rage, destroy their tra Oh, why didn't I just destroy this? That would have been, well, then I would have had to special summon. And <gasps> Can I Ash Blossom that? Oh no. <laughs> you are the worst guy of all time. No! No, because I destroyed his card! Oh, <laughs> why? No, but defeated by my... Wait, what? Oh, you can activate this from Banished? Oh, okay. Defeated by my own hubris. Oh, the humanity of it all. Oh, because I destroyed his own card instead of mine. That was so awesome that I'm dumb. Oh, that was so sick that I'm so dumb. Oh, God, why am I so stupid? Ash Blossom. I'm him. I'm still him. Even even when I I'm down in the dumps due to myself, I still gotta I still gotta play my game. I still gotta be true to myself. Let's go! Even when I'm down in the dumps, I still gotta play my game. I gotta be me. Before it all, I gotta be me. Holy, I am dumb. Get me back in there. This is the longest Yu-Gi-Oh video of all time. Oh, I lost the coin toss. Oh, you're making me go first? What kind of deck are you running? Let's go. No Nibiru, no Maxi. No Maxi, no Nibiru, we win. Draw. Ooh, not the best hand I've ever gotten in my life. Let's uh, go ahead and Abomination's Prison for the bait. Oh, we also have Maxi for next turn. Holy moly. Can we get an Ash Blossom here? Ash Blossom check. <laughs> oh, we're doing Ash Blossom checks. We're doing Ash Blossom checks in 2024. I am a villain. I am a villain right now. Yami Merrick, bro, you, you ain't nothing for... Bro, add Yami to my, in front of my name. Now, this is the route I know the least about, but I've never been one to um, be afraid of the moment. Uh, what do you have now? Maxi? No, what does he have? Imperm? No, it couldn't have been Imperm. 
My opponent still possesses a card. I am not. Uh, whatever he's playing, I am unfamiliar with his game right now. Hello? Oh my god, it's my internet. It's my internet. Maybe it's maybe it's always been my internet. Maybe we don't have fear. Maybe my internet's just acting up. Yama. Chain block with Sharvara. Is it my internet or do you have something, bro? Oh no, what are you doing to me? Okay, he did have an imperm. That's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it is gonna stop our combo a little dead in its tracks. We don't have anything that could technically pop it, right? And then do we just get escape if we're gonna end our turn here? We add this, this gets negated. Abominable Unchain won't be able to pop. Okay, let's just get Unchained. Gonna have four cards to play with here. I could hypothetically play Maxi, but I, I don't think it's worth it. So let's just shotgun Maxi. He doesn't have many cards to actually body us with. We have Escape of the Unchained to do something with, and then we're not gonna have any... Well, actually, because if he plays in a Maxi, he will. Shotgun Maxi! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, you got a card to counter that? Oh my god, he actually drew into Ash Blossom. I'm gonna cry. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Three cards to play. Standby phase. Main phase one. Is he going to be the hero to... Traps. Spilling traps. Spilling traps. <laughs> you ain't even got... You ain't even got me sad, man. You ain't even got me sad. You don't even know. You don't even know what you just did. Unless you do. How many cards can you spend on stopping me, though? Surely you have to play the game. Damn! Okay, let's just get Rakea out here, because Rakea can pop... If there was a way to get Abominable out here and have a discard, that would be so good. Mission objective is currently to survive. Uh, that's the only way we... That's the only way we can do this is if we just survive. We don't want to use this now. There's no real reason to use it now. Take as little damage as possible. We just have to survive. If we could have popped Numeron Network, we could have been so fine. What is he thinking, though? Is he really going to beat us with so little cards used to play the game? Before the end of the main phase. Quick effect. Okay, so it's a quick effect. So no, we don't have to do it just yet. Battle phase, no. Nothing on the board scares me quite yet. He'll take 500. Okay, if he's just going to pop Yama going even, that's fine. Taking out Yama going even, we can save our effect in case there is actually a time to use it. We are going to summon Unchained Soul in defense mode, though. Wall up just a little bit more. There's no point in activating his effect now. But now we can activate Rakea effect and Yama effect. Charvara in defense mode, destroy a card. Do we do we have that luxury? Probably not. No. <laughs> Rakea? Rakea is just a special summon from deck, right? I don't think this works on their turn, but hey. We walled up pretty well. He's going to get rid of Abomination. That's fine. He comes back next at the end of this phase. Holy. 16k across the board. How, bro? How? A four link? Damn. Meta Knight Crusader. What does he do? All right. Well, let's just do this. Target one card on the field. Destroy it. Boom. Yes. Bye-bye, field spell. Just in case. I don't know what you do. Escape of the Unchained. Come to me. Sarama hit the board. Sarama effect. We don't have any of the other trap cards, man. Like, really? <laughs> like, really? We don't have not even a one? <laughs> okay, I got I got to think this is crazy. Well, it's going to be set anyway, so we might as well bring a trap card back. Target this card with card effects. Also, their monsters cannot target monsters for their attacks, except this one. Okay, so we just need a 3k beat stick. Okay, so that's fine. Shiyama can still take the spot of Sarama. Sarama's effect can activate and bring forth a Ruha. Can't target it with effects. Oh, we just got to build up our board somehow. That's that's all it is. That's all it is. We just got to build up our board somehow. All we can do is build up our board. Get over this guy. Get over this guy. That's all we can accomplish. Get the new trap card. Set the new trap card. Pop this. Set this down. Trap card effect goes off. Doesn't really matter. We could go Unchained Abomination. That's Link 4, though. Damn. Ah, but it's special summon. How do you get over this guy, man? <laughs> Cannot target. The only card I can think of that would help us not target is uh, Abominable. Because that one doesn't target, it just destroys. Which means we already used that effect. Do we have a card in our hand? Oh, shit. Okay, no, we're fine. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe we just make Muckcracker. We make Muckcracker. We get High King Caesar out here. Oh, no. Oh, this is so sad. Why couldn't I do Muckracker Special Summon? Oh, it's a discard cost. I forgot. I'm really just trying to get Abominable out here, man. Oh my God. This is tough to not be able to target. And also, I just can't attack. Because I can't attack without it being Special Summon. My only option is Abominable. Or maybe like Triple Tactics. Okay, Tribute Muckracker. We survive. Muckracker goes to the graveyard. That means this trap card is going to be live next turn. Ooh. I probably should have let him die because it's not even like he's really helping. Okay, wait, wait, maybe this, maybe this works? It depends on what he has set, but maybe this works actually. 
I think our best bet was to destroy that thing anyway. Come on, baby. This might be dueling. My thought process is by chain, he'll have to activate his effect. Then we can activate our effect and absorb him. There's no targeting involved. Call the ref over if you want. I think this works. Even if it doesn't, we kind of needed to kill our guy anyway. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but we have no plays if we don't have these at least Sharvara in the graveyard. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do, bro. I don't even know what to do. I really don't, bro. I really don't. No, it didn't work. Okay, well, it's okay. Lord Yama effect will allow us to... Abominable Unchained. Holy. Do I even want to do this? <laughs> Probably. Okay, by discarding, we have finally gotten over the evil fiend Mech Knight, bro. Jeez. My God, what a boss monster. My God, what a boss monster. Get out, bro. Leave. Leave this house at once. One card onto the field into the deck. Okay. I mean, you got me there, dude. You got me there. I probably shouldn't have popped the Ruha. I probably should have just popped the stupid... Oh, oh man, this duel is bad. This, this duel, I mean, it's actually really good, but this is bad for my soul, man. I've been talking too much trash to go out like this. I've been talking too much trash to go out like this. If only I didn't let... I just shouldn't have protected with Muckracker. I should have just let him die, but... He, Obviously, Wave King High Caesar is like a really good card normally. So it's kind of hard for me to be like, ah, just kill him. Who cares? Just take him. I should have fought my instincts. Tour Guide! Yeah! Tour Guide's online. Do I even have any monsters that I can use with you? Or actually, you know what? We're just going full on beatdown, bro. What do I look like caring, bro? Like, I. It's full on beatdown time. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking it's beatdown time. Tour Guide from the Underworld throwing hands. Oh, my God. Rhino's throwing a right. Damn! Oh my god, Aruha's coming in with a little bit of that action. Ugh. Oh dear god, what's this? We're getting a special guest from the grave. Honestly, wait, hold on. Is this a is this actually a Am I a gamer? Because Rakea's effect is quick. Hold up. Hold the phone. Quick effect. Pop Aruha. Aruha effect. Oh shit. Oh, and you just send him back to the deck, buddy. The tag team special. Holy. Uh, the tier three deck it, it's coursing through my veins i, I can't be stopped uh, i'm too good i nobody's able to stop me i i, I need to seal away my power by ending the video <laughs> look at this bro they took my win streak away it's supposed to be at like 12 right now oh my god that was so sick oh i love unchained well i'm gonna end the video there on top i was tormenting the online realm with this tier three deck Woo! <laughs> ah, click on some of the other videos. If you want to watch more Yu-Gi-Oh, definitely let me know down below in the comments and by liking the video. If it gets enough support, I'd love to play more. But with that said, I've got to go grind to master. So I'll see you all in the next video.